Hey friends, strap in for EV Bunk Blasters where we zap the hot air out of the anti-EV myths faster than a Tesla can hit 60. I'm Jim and in today's episode we're torching the tired old trope, EVs are just a fad and will be replaced by hydrogen. Hydrogen? You mean that element that has to be extracted from water compressed into a liquid dispensed through connectors made for rockets and it costs more than gold? That hydrogen? Please! Hydrogen? Seriously? That leaky balloon of a tech that's been the future since the 1970s? It's like betting on Betamax while Netflix stream circles around it. Skeptics peddle this bunk like it's rocket fuel, but spoiler, EVs are already blasting off with hydrogen wheezing in the dust. We'll shred why batteries crush fuel cells in efficiency, infrastructure, and costs, but why waste energy on a gas when you can simply plug in and play? Let's deflate this hydrogen hype and see why BEVs blow hydrogen out of the water. <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> That's not bad, out of the water. <laughs> anyway, it never fails. Every time electric vehicles hit a new milestone, out come the skeptics with their shiny hydrogen dreams. Oh, batteries are so last year, they say. Hydrogen's the future. It's clean, quick, and unlimited range. Sounds sexy, right? Like something out of a sci-fi flick, but let's pump the brakes and pop the hood on this one. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, or FCEVs, have been hyped for decades, yet they're barely crawling off the lot while EVs are racing well past 20 million sales worldwide this year alone. And my friends, that's not a fad, that's a freight train. I recently watched a 2-bit video where for 13 minutes this YouTuber listed out the issues associated with hydrogen. But his arguments, again, don't hold water. Today, we're going to blast three large and stinky piles of bunk spread by the hydrogen is better crowd. First, hydrogen's no efficiency keen. It's a leaky bucket compared to EVs. And second, forget scalability and infrastructure. EVs are building highways while hydrogen's stuck in a cul-de-sac. And the third, the costs. <laughs> hydrogen's draining your wallet when you factor in the cost of cars, fuel, and the whole messy production chain. And by the end, you'll see why BEVs aren't just dominating the zero emission market. They're lapping the competition. So strap in, charge up, and let's start blasting this bunk. Okay, the first point is if we're talking zero emission rides, efficiency isn't just nice. It is everything. It's about squeezing every drop of clean energy out of renewables without wasting it on detours. And here's the bunk. Hydrogen fans love to tout fuel cells as just like electric, but better. Nope, nope. Let's break it down with cold, hard physics, and we will look at the waste that's taking place in places like Saudi Arabia, where terawatts of electricity are spent on just making hydrogen. Billions of dollars spent, but I digress. Let's start with the basics. EVs, or battery electric vehicles, BEVs, charge straight from the grid. That electricity, which is increasingly from renewable sources, goes right into the battery with about 90% efficiency at the charger, and then the motor converts it to motion at another 90 to 95%. Power source to wheel, we're talking about 80 to 85% efficiency overall. Plug in overnight and drive 300 miles and minimal loss takes place. It's like pouring water straight from the tap directly into your glass. Now, hydrogen, it's a whole Rube Goldberg machine. To make green hydrogen, the clean stuff, we use electrolysis, splitting water with electricity to get H2 gas. Sounds simple, but electrolysis is only about 70% efficient right off the bat. Then you compress it for storage, another 10 to 15 percent loss. Truck it to the station, decompress it, and finally feed it into a fuel cell that 
converts it back to electricity at 40 to 60% efficiency. End result, from that glass of water to the wheels of your FCEV, you get a measly 25 to 35% efficiency. That's right. Over two thirds of your clean energy vanishes into thin air as heat and logistics. Think about it. That same kilowatt hour of renewable power in an EV will get you three to four miles down the road, but for a hydrogen after all the steps, you're lucky to hit one to two miles. So let me ask this question. Why play telephone with your electrons when you can go directly into your battery? It's like trying to mail a letter by turning it into confetti, shipping it across the country, and then reassembling it. EVs cut the nonsense and deliver the goods. No wonder FCEVs guzzle two to three times more energy for the same trip. Hydrogen is not replacing battery electric vehicles. It's simply reminding us why batteries rule the efficiency game. Now let's get to point two, scalability and infrastructure. The hydrogen hype squad loves whispering, EVs are great for cities, but hydrogen scales for trucks and long hauls. That's a cute story, but the numbers say EVs are the scalable powerhouse and hydrogen's infrastructure is a ghost town. Flash to 2025. Global EV charging points, over 1.3 million new public chargers were added just last year, pushing the total stock up 30%. We're talking millions worldwide including home garages, malls, highways, and even wireless pads popping up like weeds. Take a look at these comparison maps for hydrogen stations here in the U.S. as compared to DC fast charge stations. There is no comparison. And what about EV sales compared to the fuel cell nightmare? In the U.S. alone, quarter one EV sales were 375,000 fueling a charging boom that's outpacing demand. Projections? Again, EVs hit 20 million sales this year, over 25% of all cars sold globally. That's scalability. Batteries are also getting cheaper, supply chains are humming, and grids are adapting with smart technology. Hydrogen, however? Global FCEV sales in the first half of this year were a whopping 4,102 units, down 27% from last year. A projected $3 billion has been spent in 2025, but that's peanuts next to the EV's trillion dollars worth of ecosystem value. And infrastructure, nearly 80% of the world's hydrogen stations, maybe 1,000 total, are crammed into just five countries. Japan, Germany, South Korea, the U.S., and China. Good luck road tripping outside of those bubbles. And don't even try to think about going across the country in a hydrogen vehicle here in the USA. It ain't going to happen. Building one H2 station costs millions of dollars and needs specialized high-pressure gear. EV chargers, plug-and-play, a 10-fold station for under half a million dollars. That's 10 stalls for under half a million. Scalability, projections, absolutely seal it. Experts see battery electric vehicles dominating light duty vehicles and even trucks with megawatt charging. Hydrogen, it may be niche for heavy industry or super long hauls, but it's not gonna replace your family sedan. EVs are the highway. Hydrogen is just a scenic tour that nobody is paving. Now, for point number three, the cost. This is where the hydrogen fairy tale crashes the hardest. Sure, you can get a full tank in five minutes, and that sounds dreamy. But when the car is pricier than a luxury EV and the fuel costs more than gold dust, tell me who's buying. Hydrogen vehicles, well, the 2025 Toyota FCEV Mirai starts at $53,000 manufacturer's suggested retail price. The only way you can get it down to even be close to competitive with a normal EV 
is with subsidies. So it's subsidized smoke and mirrors. The real funny thing is that Mirai means future in Japanese, but there's no future in hydrogen. Then you look at the Honda CRV FCEV, it's 51,450 out the door. And the average EV today is around $40,000 and dropping 10% yearly as battery breakthroughs keep moving forward. And two models will come in at $30,000 or less this year, the Chevy Bolt and the new Nissan Leaf. But the real killer is fuel, green hydrogen production via electrolysis. It's hovering at about $4 to $12 per kilogram today. In quarter two, 2025, the retail cost at the pump up to $27 per kilogram. That's $80 to $100 to fill up for a 300-mile journey down the hydrogen highway versus 10 to 12, maybe even $15 for an EV on virtually every highway in America. So why so steep, you might ask? Electrolysis guzzles electricity about 50 kilowatt hours per kilogram of H2, and that's before losses in storage and distribution. And it takes an average of four to six kilograms of hydrogen to fill up your average hydrogen-powered car. That's 200 kilowatts or more. And you can go a long way in an EV on 200 kilowatts of power. That energy cost is the killer for hydrogen. Hydrogen's low emission production is just 1% of global supply in 2025, and that's going to keep costs high sky. EVs, well, electricity's been around for over 100 years, almost 150. It's relatively cheap, and it's everywhere. Solar is down to pennies per kilowatt hour, so there's no contest. Hydrogen's a luxury fad for the ultra-rich. EVs are democratizing clean driving, and for the clincher. By the time you get hydrogen to the tank of a hydrogen car, it costs more than 45 cents per mile to move it down the road. That's almost 10 times the cost of any modern EV. And if you think that is good, then your brain needs to be recalibrated. So there you have it. We've just hydrogen bombed the massive pile of bunk that hydrogen cars are better than battery electric vehicles. EVs aren't fading, they're the empire striking back while hydrogen stuck somewhere in neutral, guzzling subsidies and spewing out inefficiency. Face it, battery electric vehicles blow hydrogen out of the water, pun very much intended, leaving it all wet and completely washed up. And if you're still huffing H2 dreams, wake up and smell the electrons. BEVs own the road, they own the market, and they own the future. Share this video with your hydrogen holdout friends and watch their arguments evaporate like liquid hydrogen in Death Valley. Please subscribe to this channel right now if you haven't already done so. Hit like so that YouTube will share this video with more people. Ring the notification bell and please do comment. I highly encourage it. Until the next pile of bunk gets blasted, remember, in the race to zero emissions, EVs don't just win, they lap the losers. Go battery electric or get left in the hydrogen water. I'll see you out there or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody, and remember, hydrogen is really helium's flaming cousin. It's great for refueling rockets, but your car is better off with batteries.